Hello everyone, this is Levert. Uh, I just want to say to you guys to be ready and be prepared. <clears throat> be prepared, excuse me. The reason I say them two things is because if you're still here going into November or December, it doesn't matter. Be prepared to hear from people, you're a false prophet. You always lying and blah, 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 blah. See, we was right. You were wrong. This and that. And blah, 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 blah. That's what we're going to hear if we're still here. Be prepared to hear that from people. Because they are waiting for that day to come. They're waiting for November 1st to come. They're waiting. They're waiting for that day. They are waiting for that day to come. And when that day come, I bet you, on my comments, it's going to be everywhere, all over. Not just my page. Um, a lot of other people's pages. Uh, Swift Harris's page, Jason Eli page, mine's. This other woman's page. I forgot her name. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I, I, I just uh just started talking to you. Um, a lot of other people's pages. Be ready to hear that stuff. But don't mad them. It's okay, because still and all, like I said, if it don't happen this month. It's still going to happen this year. Regardless of what anyone say. It doesn't matter what they say because it's still going to happen. It's still going to happen. They can't stop what's, what's about to happen. They can't stop what God has planned. They can't stop it. He ain't told his people he's coming. To, he's going to bring his son this year to get us. And it's not the second coming. I wish people would stop saying it's the second coming. And it's not. It's not. It's not the second coming. But if y'all want to believe it's a second coming, then fine. Believe it's a second coming. But, um, because I had people on my comments just talking about me and everything. It's okay. What I do is delete them. I'm not going to say a word to them. I'm just going to delete them. That's it. I don't care what they say. And I hope you all don't, you know, draw into what they're saying. Because that's what they want. And they want violence. So they're going to say something that they feel will anger you. So you can respond back to them in an anger way. I'm not doing that. I'm going to just delete them. And then they're going to say, oh, so you want to delete me now? Yep, delete again. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to just delete them. So everybody do the same thing. Delete all these bashers and mockers and everything. Just delete them. Let them say what they got to say because you're deleting them because of what they saying about you. Negative things. If it's negative... Yes, we're going to delete you. You're a negative person. So we're going to delete you. We ain't got time for no violence or anything. No, that's not us. We're going to leave that out. So we're going to delete you and block you. Because I'm just trying to block people now. But um, that's the reason why I said to get ready. And the reason I said to be prepared is because, well, we're going home this year. So be prepared as well. <laughs> it don't matter. It does not matter what these people say to us. It don't matter. It don't matter. Ever since I made that last video, people have been coming to me like crazy. <laughs> but I had a lot of people that uh, that's of God to back me up. They understand. They understand exactly where I'm coming from. And that just wasn't for me, Jason Eli, or Swift Patch. This is for all, everybody that's putting this message out there, whether you're a Christian or not. Even, you know, because you can just believe and do everything that we're Christians is doing. And you can still go home. You don't have to be a Christian to go home. You don't. But, um, just be prepared, people, because it's about to happen. And, um, as I said before, even if it don't happen this month, next month, whatever, it don't matter. The point is, it's going to happen this year. No matter what no one say. Kind of tired of putting out videos because... I'm trying to get to the people that don't fully understand. You know, I'm trying. Because if I didn't care about you all, I wouldn't keep making these videos. I'm putting my time into making videos for you guys to at least try to understand instead of just bashing people all the time. You know, just coming against them. Understand that God can change things. Just because he said to be ready. Like, for instance, my wife said that he said he told her that we're not going to be here for... You know, the devil's day. But he said, if you're still here because the father do change his mind, he changes his mind. He can change his mind. He's God. He can do what he want. 
you, you can't get mad at us because what he telling us to say? That's crazy. You get mad at him then. Everything. Look, this is what y'all bashers and mongers and everything you need to understand. Everything y'all get mad at what we're saying to you that the father told us. You're getting mad at him of what he's saying. You're getting mad at what he's saying. You're calling him names. You're not calling us anything because we're doing everything he's telling us to say to you. That's what we're doing. So you can say we're talking to a demon. You're basically saying that he's a demon. You're saying all this stuff about him. And you have no idea if you're really talking to the real God or not. You don't know. How do you know? Are you God yourself? Are you Jesus Christ yourself? You don't know. And if you don't talk to him yourself, how would you know? You don't want to talk to him yourself. And I bet y'all the main ones don't want to talk to him yourselves. Y'all the main ones coming at people. Y'all don't want to talk to him. Y'all just assume. I bet y'all the main ones that don't want to talk to him. Don't want to ask him anything. Don't want to go to him in prayer and ask him anything about all these Christians that's coming out all of a sudden. In 2016 saying the same message every every single one of us. The other years, it was never like this year, you people. You need to understand this as well. I'm putting this out there too. Because I, I don't think people have put this out there. The years that back then, when I was a child growing up, I have never seen Christians now to this day. Now, I have never seen in my life where I'm hearing all Christians, not just Christians, but other people too, getting the same message. That is this year, or they getting it in a different type of way. In a different way, he don't have to. He don't have to come to you and tell you him himself that is this year. He can give you a sign from someone else, or you can feel something that something is about to change. That something's happening. Something's about to happen, and it's a good feeling too. You don't know what it is, but you know it's something good. That's a sign right there of him giving you the same message, but in a different way. It don't have to be the same thing that he has to come to you and tell you. Some people was told by him personally, like face to face and spirit. Some people was told in different ways, a feeling from someone else. Or let's say, for instance, someone literally prayed about the, you know, prayed to get confirmation that I'm telling the truth. They will come to me and tell me, you're telling the truth. I got confirmation that you was telling the truth. You know? I only had one person that done it on Facebook. He still writes to me. And he literally prayed about it and everything. He had confirmation. Excuse me. He had confirmation. I ain't got nothing to lie about. He had confirmation. But he's the only one that actually prayed about it. He was the only one. So, you know... It's okay to the mongers and scoffers out there. It's okay. I hate that you're going to be left behind. But that's the only way you will know the truth. That's the only way you will find out and wake up. That's the only way. That's the only way. We Christians and other people out there that's like us. Is, you know, we're putting our time in these videos for you guys. And y'all think we fake? Be talking to demons and everything else. I'm just trying to help you guys, man. You know, I'm just trying to help. I'm I, I'm not no demon or anything like that, man. Like, I'm no. I, I'm trying to help you guys. If I didn't care, I wouldn't put. I wouldn't share any dream that I have. I wouldn't share nothing. If that was the case, if I were evil, I wouldn't share anything. Y'all wouldn't know anything about me. I would just kept everything to myself and not tell y'all nothing. If that's the case. But I'm sharing it. Whether you think it's evil or good or whatever, it don't matter. I'm sharing it. You know? And the only ones would know the truth about... The only ones that would feel that is the truth is the true Christians. The true people out there that's of God. They're the only ones that would feel that I'm telling the truth. The ones that's lost and everything that just go by this world, they're going to think you're crazy. Yeah. It's, it's only so few people that's going to make it. And them are the only so few people that's believing you. <laughs> Think about what I just said. There are only so few people that's going to make it to heaven, which is true. And, and you know, going into rapture, there's only so few of us. Them are the same ones that's listening. Just think about what I just said. So you're going to have a lot of people that's going to go against you. But you're going to have so few that's going to believe you. 
God bless you all. Oh, and um, you know, I quit my job, like I said. I'm putting it out there again, just so you guys know. Why would I quit my job if I'm lying about everything? I literally quit my job. For you new people out there that want to just mock me and everything, I quit my job because he told me to. That was like three or four months ago. Three or four months ago, I quit my job. My wife has been working. She just lost her job, I believe, two days ago. And um, they're trying to get her back in, but she's not going back. They fired her because she's sick and she's pregnant. And now they want to bring her back in. I'm glad she's not going back in because that's just wrong for what they've done to her. They, they're going to fire her because she's throwing up and everything because she's pregnant. Now they want her back because they realize they about to get shut down soon. <laughs> but um, you see how things come back on people? They, they, they about to get shut down. But she put it on herself by firing my wife. All because she's pregnant. It's just sick how this world is. The father gave her the, the right amount of time to work and to to basically let her loose because we about to go home. It's, it, you know, the father, he is so amazing. He's amazing. He is amazing. And I'm not the only one that quit my job. There's a young lady out there, too, that quit her job as well, you know. So I, I forgot her name. I'm sorry that I, I, don't, I don't remember your name, but um, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> you know who you are. But, um... Just be ready, people, because you're going to hear it. If we still hear it, we're going to hear it, but just brush it off, and they're going to find out this year. They're going to find out because things are going to change. This presidential election, everything, and it's happening. It's happening right in front of our face. Russia got a new nuclear warhead that's the most powerful bomb in the world now. It's called Satan 2. Satan 2. That's what it's called. Satan. They need to bomb Satan. And it's the most powerfulest bomb in the world right now. Look it up. God bless you all. Love you. And just be prepared to go home. And be ready to hear false things, negative things from people if you're still here. Be prepared and be ready. God bless.